So, yeah. Flash season came early this year. For some reason, two days ago, Google released the Android N developer preview one. Why now? We are well ahead of Google I.O. and no one has heard anything about it. So today we're going to have a look at Android N developer preview one on the Nexus 6. And I got to tell you, to be a developer preview and to be in alpha stage, it's pretty damn good. Let's check it out. So let's see what this Android N developer preview has to offer. So first thing first, the home screen. It's all the same. Nothing changed from Marshmallow, still the same home screen. This is the Google Now launcher. Um, we have seen some videos in the uh, in the recent days with um, an Android without any app drawer, but uh, this is not the case. Uh, the app drawer is still here. Everything is still the same. So as far as the home screen goes, nothing, nothing, nothing new under the sun. So let's get to the real stuff and let's get to the uh, notification menu. So the notification tray is quite different. What we have here is different notifications. They are a lot more information rich and overall they are simpler. So first thing, we don't see uh, much of the application that sent the notification. We have a bigger focus on the content of the notification itself. So um, to see what app sent the notification, we have a little icon here and the name of the app and um, when the notification was sent. One nice thing here is that if we swipe like this, we have this setting button and we can tweak the uh, importance of the notification. So we can go from blocked, so never show these notifications to low importance, silently show at the bottom of the notification list, normal importance, so normal notification, high importance, so show on top of the notification list and allow sound and urgent importance, so peek onto the screen and allow sound. I'm just gonna leave it to normal. Of course, if you have uh, some kind of notifications that have a higher or lower priority, it's a nice thing to be able to tweak them. So on, to on the top here, we have uh, this quick settings uh, menu. So we have five of our uh, quick settings that we can expand by just dragging from the top to the bottom like this, and we have the new quick settings tray. So this is really similar to what Cyanogemo 13 offered. So we have a paged um, quick setting tray and we can edit them, pressing the edit button and we can just uh, rearrange the icons like this just by dragging and dropping them on the screen. Or we can add um, other tiles from the bottom here or remove them depending on what we want. And so basically this is very simple, but overall it's uh, a more mature uh, quick settings menu um, compared to what Marshmallow and Lollipop offered. So um, let's get to the next big thing about Android N, and I'm talking about the multitasking. So multitasking has been greatly improved. As you see here, the cards in the multitasking menu are a lot bigger, and we can also use multi-window now. So to use multi-window, you just um, drag a window from its style in the recent menu and drag it on the top here like this. And then you see here there is a slider and the uh, recent menu again here on the bottom. So you just uh, press whatever application you want to be using on the bottom and here you have it, split screen, multi-window, as you want to call it. It's really something very useful. So you have three steps um, to split your screen. The first thing is, um, of course, uh, each app has the same size or the first app has a smaller size and the second has a bigger size or the exact opposite. So the first app is bigger and the second app is smaller. So you can tweak it as you want to. The only thing uh, is that you have only three steps. So if you want to uh, use a custom size, you cannot. It will just snap back to the predefined size, which is something. I'm, I don't know how to feel about this. I think it's, it's okay. I mean, uh, I don't think you will be using any more of these three steps anyway. So to get back to normal and um, get back to single screen apps, you just drag this down like this or drag it up and it didn't work. So you drag it up and you have your normal one window experience. 
So most apps works with these uh, multi-window features, even uh, non-Google apps or non-stock apps. So Solid Explorer works, Google Plus works, I mean Phonograph, which is a multiplayer works, Spotify works too. Fiddly Reader has some little problems uh, and needs to be uh, relaunched when you <clears throat> use the um, split screen because it hangs, but um, I mean, it's a very early feature and I'm really surprised that it works with uh, so many apps out of the box. So here's that. One more thing I wanted to show you about the notifications is the possibility to quickly reply to your messages directly from the notification menu. So I'm just gonna send a Telegram message to my phone and show you how this works. So as you see here, I got the notification. I can just see it normally. If I press on it, of course it will open Telegram. But if I expand it, I see a reply uh, to the message and I can directly reply to the message from the notification menu. And this is something I really like because sometimes it happens that you're working on something like you're taking a note or uh, you're watching a video and you get an important message that you have to reply to and you have to get to the application, reply to the message and then get back to whatever you were doing. Now, um, with this new feature, you can just reply from the message directly from the notification menu, which is something I really like. So far, this feature uh, is confirmed to be working on Hangouts and Telegram. I'm not sure about uh, other apps such as WhatsApp or uh, Facebook Messenger, but it's there. Uh, they're probably gonna implement it in the future for apps that don't support it. I'm actually pretty impressed to see that Telegram works out of the box. One other thing I want to show you is the settings app. So the settings app got uh, a little revamp here. So um, you have your classic settings, but for every section you have uh, a little more information. Uh, you have a sneak peek at the most relevant information uh, in the menu that you want to access to. So for instance, Wi-Fi, I see here, I'm connected to the Gabmus GNET network. Data usage, I see uh, how much data I've used and so on. Every category, almost every category has a quick subtitle that gives you the relevant information about that setting at a glance. One more thing I wanted to show you is that if you go to a section of the settings app, you have this little hamburger menu here that uh, lets you uh, rap rapidly switch to another uh, settings category and this is something really nice this is something I was really expecting um, to happen on Android um, some other apps such as kernel editor if you know it already implemented this kind of interface and I think it's really functional and overall useful so getting back to uh, the settings uh, one other thing I wanted to show you about the, di the display is that you can now change the display size so basically you can change the DPI directly from your settings app. So no root needed, no build.prop tweaking needed. You just have this slider here. And uh, let me show you if I want to, if I want to uh, get back to default, the default size, you see the screen is gonna freeze for a second. And then here you go. You have your default size uh, screen, but I, I like it smaller personally. So you have your um, smaller DPI, which is overall really a good thing for people who like to have more information, again, more content on their screens, like me. One other thing I wanted to show you is the system UI tuner. So the system UI tuner got some more uh, settings and starting from the status bar, uh, of course you have your uh, toggles here that you can hide and show um, some information, some icons in the, in the status bar. Of course, it's nothing new again. We already seen these in um, Marshmallow. Of course, I'm gonna uh, keep them all on, but for people who prefer to have a more simple look, they can um, tweak it from here, from the system UI tuner. And then we have the battery. The battery uh, gives us the possibility to uh, show the percentage only when the phone is, char is charging or always show the percentage, which is something I really like. It was already there in Marshmallow and I'm happy to see it's here again with Android N. So getting back to the system UI tuner, we have color and appearance, and this is something I really like. So let's, let's get to the calibrate display menu. Oftentimes it happens that a screen on a particular device may have a kind of yellowish or bluish or greenish tint to the screen 
and you have two possibilities. Either you root your phone and change to a ROM that allows you to tweak the display calibration in a way really similar to this, like CyanogenMod offered this option in the display menu, and I think it's been implemented in CyanogenMod 11 or 12, I think it's 11, but anyway, now we have it on a USB Android, so if I want to uh, completely mess up the colors and have a pink display, I can do it. But I'm just gonna leave it to default because I think this display is calibrated pretty well. And then we have something really interesting. We have night mode. So night mode is is what it sounds like. Uh, you have the possibility to have a better experience when you are in bed, for instance. So now you can use the night mode, you can turn it on and you have a dark theme if you like it, otherwise you can just turn it off and a yellowish tint to the screen, which is easier on, in, on your eyes, especially in dark hours. So here's that, nothing fancy, but something really useful and really uh, needed in Android. So getting back to the um, system UI tuner, we have the possibility to tweak the do not disturb mode so that it shows up either in the volume controls like this, or when we uh, turn the volume all the way down. So if we, if we um, turn the volume all the way down like this, and here we have, we have enabled alarms only, and we can of course turn it off just like this. I personally um, prefer to use the quick setting tile, so I'm just gonna leave it off. And then we have other. So you have just some tweaks for the new multitasking features in Android N. If you want to tweak them, if you want to get a, a slightly different experience, you always have this menu to accommodate your needs. So guys, this was Android N Developer Preview 1. I think it's really something particularly interesting because we see Android getting more mature and Overall, I think that the experiment that started with Lollipop with changing the whole interface and having a completely different user experience is starting to get more mature and is starting to get more usable and overall more efficient. So I think I'm going to keep Android N for some time. I will leave a link down in the description if you want to try it out on your device, of course, if it's supported. Now, the supported devices are the Nexus 6, the Nexus 6P, 5X, the Pixel C and the Nexus player. I'm not sure why Google didn't uh, support the Nexus 5 for this developer preview, but I don't think they will abandon the Nexus 5 just yet in the final release. So I think I would, they're just targeting um, the newest devices for this preview, but most likely the Nexus 5 is gonna get Android N when it officially comes out. So guys, this is gonna wrap up this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, remember to press the like button down there and also remember to subscribe to my channel if you want more of this. Thanks for watching guys and I'll be seeing you in the next one.